morning guys today is uh thursday april 14th 2011 and this is going to be my uh 10 month lock update so as of april 1st um i am 10 months locked i know i'm always doing this like late but whatever <laughs> um yeah so just a few little things because there's a lot going on with my hair now. I'm not even going to show you what my hair looks like because it's a hot mess. It's just that it's the end of the semester is coming up and, you know, finals, papers, presentations, all of that stuff. So I really haven't had time to even deal with my hair. I guess what I've noticed is that my hair is, I wouldn't say thinning out, but my locks are thinning a little bit. They're, they're getting a little thin at the roots and that's making me really uncomfortable. Very nervous. I have been kind of back and forth with maybe kind of free-forming, I guess, or semi-free-forming and retwisting. I normally retwist it, we retwist the roots with uh, aloe vera, the raw aloe vera. But I stopped doing that for a little bit in late February, just because, actually because um, I started watching Napspaya. I love her hair. If you guys have a chance, check, her, um, check out her channel. I love how she says, um, naps for you. It's just so cool. But anyway, she ha she's free-forming. She has free-forming locks and they are just thick and beautiful and just like luscious. I'm like, I need my hair to look like that. <laughs> so I'm like, I keep going back and forth. Oh, I want a semi-free-form. Oh, I want manicured looking locks. So um, what I've decided to do is that I will probably stop interlocking. I know. It just seems like it's not gonna work. And actually, I'm only interlocking one more time and that's the end of this month. Just wanna get it interlocked and get it out of the way because I'm gonna be really, really busy um, this summer. So that is the last time I'll be interlocking my hair. And it's been, I think by then it'll be about five or six months since the last time I interlocked my hair. So I think if I can go six months without interlocking my hair, then clearly I don't have to do it. And in the meantime, I was retwisting, so you know, but the thing is, is all the, I'm like, okay, how is my hair going to stay? That's what I'm concerned about because even with retwisting, even when I retwisted my hair after I washed it once a week, I couldn't really wet it or do much with it because it will unravel. And I'm like, how does your hair lock if it eventually unravels when you twist it? I guess it, it somehow does because there's so many people who started there. It's just, my hair is too soft. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. And I definitely know that I don't want to. Um, fully freeform. I know I just kind of, I want to do like a semi freeform. I'll probably just retwist. I don't know how the schedule is going to go, how often I'm going to retwist. I'll figure out all of that when the time comes. Like I said, there are some locks that are um, thinning, so I'm going to have to join some locks, like seriously. There's some in the back that I'm going to sew together. Remember in that video, lock, my lock confessions video, and I told you about the two the two locks on this side that were way too thin and short, so I was going to comb them out and interlock them together? Well, guess what happened? So what ha happened was, so this is really, this is basically shrunken hair because I had wet my hair last night, but this is shrunken hair. These were the two locks that I took out. If I can, I'll put it in the video, um, a little snippet so you guys can see before I, before I take them out. Let me show you how. It's kind of locked though, especially at the end. The end is... Come on, I gotta show you guys. But this is basic, basically the lock, the two locks. These were two locks that I took out. And once I took them out, I was gonna interlock them um, from scratch. But I realized that once I took them out, I realized that they were so thin because, you know, once you comb your hair out, you're going to lose some hair. Um, once you comb your locks out, you're going to lose some hair. And I lost, um, I lost some hair so much so that they're too thin. I feel like it's too thin to interlock even together, you know, if that makes any sense. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just braid it. And, you know, that would just be one braid lock. But every time I wash my hair, it comes out. So... And I tried like comb coils that didn't work. That comb coils is like a joke in my head. Right now I'm just so frustrated <laughs> with these locks. I'm like, oh, you're not coming out the right size. You know, you need to be a little bit bigger. At the end of the day, I feel like I'd much rather my hair, my locks be a little bit more thicker than 
them thinning out. Uh, you guys, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions of what, you know, may help or what, you know, things that I could do, please, please, please uh, be generous with your comments because I definitely need some guidance. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, 10 months locked, um, almost 11 months in May, but May 1st, and then it's going to be one year, so I'm kind of excited. Of course, I've been taking pictures, so of course I'm going to have my one year um, lock journey video showing you pictures that I've taken each month um, of my lock journey, so I'll have that for you guys. I hope you guys are all having a great day and enjoying the weather and everything's going good for you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.